Hello YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to paint kitchen cabinets like a professional. So what I have is Gospar signature and a general purpose um, what do you call it? Mini rollers, mini rollers. And then I've already primed my door here, as you can see. And uh, here's my paint. The important thing is not to have too much paint on the roller. Paint inside the grooves first. I say the hardest area first is always my forte, my my motto. So if you do the hardest part first, then you can come back and do the easy part second. I'm gonna do the uh, the outside edges. Yeah, you could roll it all like that. So as you can see, I don't have too much paint on my roller. Just, just a couple little dabs. Then you can do your face. As you can see, I, I don't put a whole lot of paint on there. All right, so some people like the roller texture. You can see that it looks like an orange peel. Um, that's real amateur. We want to, oh, here you have a little bit of debris. Take your corner brush right here. This is a pretty brush. So that doesn't work, just use your fingers. I think that was on the texture. So I'm scraping it off. Put on the paper. So to make it look professional, it looks like it's sprayed, but it's not sprayed. Okay, so after you uh, roll it all on, go in with your brush and then hit the corners lightly. See how I work it out from the corner to the middle? This little mother needs to go. I think that was tape. Okay, so work your corners to the middle. And same thing down here, corners to the middle. Get all those little crevices. I'm gonna glaze it anyways, but to show you how to make it look smooth, with the brush technique, you gotta have a good brush, don't use a cheap brush. I mean, cheap like in a stiff nylon, you want a good $20, $30 brush. So pretty is pretty good. And then now I just float from the top to the middle, or you can go all the way down. What you don't want is a whole lot of paint and you don't want to build up right up there. Same thing for the bottom. So I don't have a whole lot of paint on my brush because I don't want build up. Because what'll happen is the paint will dry or as it dries, it'll run and you'll have drips right there at the corner. So I'm sure many of you have seen that. So that's really much it. Taking your time, looking for, see how I'm just kind of gently dragging. If you see any flaws, you want to get them now. So if you can do this, take your time, you really don't have to do a second coat. So let's take a look. So here's some cabinets. As it's drying, you see very little brush strokes. And as it dries, it's pretty smooth, right? So there you go. That's how you paint. You roll and brush, that's the trick. So I do the face first, let it dry. And then I'm gonna do a second coat. Um, well, no, I'm gonna do a, a touch-up coat on the inside. Um, I'm gonna roll it. I don't have to do the roll and brush technique, but on the outside of the face, that's the most important part that you see. All right, Let's check out my other videos and I will make more about glazing. Thanks.